Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies, your specialist in everything to do with power products. Today I'd just like to quickly talk to you about lithium batteries and the right size capacity for you. So a lot of people just take um, the uh, AGM battery and divide it by two to say, well, that's the equivalent in the lithium. It sort of is, but isn't. <laughs> so to explain that, if I said I had a 100 amp hour AGM battery, most people say, oh, in that case, then a 50 amp lithium is exactly the same. So to a certain degree, yes, um, but not quite. So, and what I mean by that is, uh, an AGM battery, the recommendations are not to take it to less than 50%. So out of a 100 amp hour battery, we would be saying you've got 50 amps of usable power, and then the other 50 amps is still power that you can use. However, once you start dipping into that lower 50 or the, the, the bottom 50% of the battery, you are killing the capacity and the um, ability of that battery, so to speak, to hold that capacity. So with an AGM battery, right from the word go, um, you are starting to diminish its holding capacity of that battery once you start keep taking it down below 50%. So if you take that into rule, then yes, a 50 amp lithium would be the same size. However, we sort of work on around about the 80%. So I would say that in, in, in actual fact, uh, a 75 amp lithium is more like a 100 to 110 uh, AGM battery. Um, and, uh, and look at, so you've got that sort of 20% um, uh, depth there of discharge to play around with A on your lithium because your lithium battery will still last longer if you only take it to 80% compared to 100%. The differences are with a lithium battery, you can um, drop it down to 100% and you won't be affecting its ability to hold that um, the, its capacity. So if you've got a 100, 100 amp hour lithium battery, you can drop it to 100% and it's not going to affect um, its life cycle at 100%, so 100 amps. But what you will do is affect its actual life cycle overall. So you're not killing its capacity, but you're killing its actual life expectancy. So. Generally, a lithium battery, you'll get around about 3,000 cycles out of it if you drop it to 100% all the time, and around about um, 5,000 cycles if you only take it to 80% depth of discharge. So it does make a little bit of difference. So getting that right size lithium battery um, is, yeah, there is a little bit of mathematics to it, but you don't need as big as what you would think. So some people say, oh, you know, I've got a 200 amp hour. Uh, AGM battery, so I'm going to go for a 200 amp hour lithium battery. Well, in effect, that's almost like three quarters uh, bigger than what you actually had. So if you had plenty of power out of that 200 amp hour bank, then you really only need to be looking at like 100 to 125 amp hour battery to, um, to really give you that same capacity as what you had with the AGM, but what you are saving is a lot of weight. So working out those um, differences uh, is, is you know, is, is quite simple, it's quite easy, but around a 75 amp hour lithium is more than enough for the average person to run their fridge and lights for a weekend camping away. If you want to run for extended periods of time, um, then you look into maybe a solar blanket and that type of thing to be able to replenish some sort of power during the day, and that will you know, last you even longer. If you need to be staying away for three or four days or even longer, then maybe step up to 110 amp hour and so forth. So there is a little bit of science behind it, but it's not too technical. But at the end of the day, there's no point buying bigger than what you need because they, you know, they are expensive uh, pieces of equipment, and, uh, but they will last you a long time. So if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call and bye for now.